<laughs> Krista Kruger, we have a new contestant entering the ring. Awesome. Welcome to the Sharp Goat Challenge, Krista. Thank you for playing. Uh, all right, let's see what you got here. First off, hmm. I like how you're searching for... I, I, right away when I see uh, someone's photo, and even if the photo doesn't work, um, I may say, like, okay, I like what you're trying to do, or I like that you're looking for something. I like uh, knowing that you're, you know, the, the photographer is has got an eye for something. They're seeing something in a particular subject or composition. They're seeing something there, and so I, you know, just... Just knowing that your eye is picking up this kind of stuff is really good, really good to, to see. Um, of course, you know, I should mention Krista. It already takes fantastic photos, so I'm I'm very, uh, very excited to see her getting in on the challenge as well because I know that I've seen uh, I've seen uh, her photos before, and uh, I can't wait to see what uh, she uh, what she contributes to the challenge here. So. Uh, yeah, not to, you know, Krista, you already know a lot of, you know, what I'm talking about here. This is also for anybody else who could be watching the critique, to, so uh, they may be able to take away something as well. Um, but, uh, yeah, I like, yeah, I kind of like this, uh, th that you're looking at, uh, you're looking for this kind of pattern, this uh, set of gradients here. Um, and I like that you didn't do black and white on it. I like that there's that little bit of color there. Um, what are you shooting with, by the way? 7D. Cool, cool. And what, uh, what lens you have here? 51.4. I love that everybody's shooting 50. This is great. I, I'll just, I'll talk about that another time, but I, I like how, uh, shooting at a 50 prime forces you to keep at one focal length. So it, uh, it gets you to experiment on a certain focal length and, but it also keeps you from thinking that changing your focal length is like zooming. So uh, using, you know, uh, consumer cameras and camcorders, um, point and shoot cameras in particular, uh, you know, the zoom on it, people uh, then when they, you know, go from using those to using a DSLR, um, they see, you know, a lens that uh, that goes from you know, 17 to 50 or 28 to 70 or 18 to 200. And they All they think of that is that's the zoom. That just moves me in and out when, no, that actually uh, choosing a focal length is is a choice in, you know, how your image is going to look. So uh, I love that people will uh, shoot at 50 because it forces you to see what that focal length is capable of. Um, end of ramble. Moving on. Ah! Oh, my God. Huh. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. So, <laughs> uh, is this like Barbie's cousin? Interesting. Um, okay. I like the frame of it. I'm not gonna say I like the doll. That 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 that, that sounds creepy. Um, however, I do like the appearance of the doll. I like that the hair is frayed. I like that. Uh, uh, it's it's not so Barbie-ish. Um. I do, I do like that. Um, yeah, I, I kind of wish there was more, a little bit here, either more or less of this down here. Because what is this? Is this a, is this a drum or is it a plate? I'm not quite sure what that is. Um, so it's a little bit distracting, but, uh, but uh, okay. Otherwise, yeah, it's a picture of a doll. Oh my god, it's gonna haunt my dreams. Or nightmares. Yeah, I wish I knew either what this was here. So either um, you've cropped off right at the legs here. So I uh, so I do like that, um, and I like how there it's it's practically like a solid green behind her, um, and you can see much of her shadow as well. I like that part of it very much too. Is it cracking on her head a little bit? You can see age. You can see you can see a little, you know much in the doll here. Um, um, but, uh, yeah, maybe even a little bit lower. Looks, it, it feels like we're too high, but then, you know, but then you see the rest of the doll here. I don't know. I would have liked to see more options, I guess is what I'm saying. Cause I like what, I like what you've done here. I wonder what else, what else could have been done? <laughs> cool. Okay. Great. 
Um, what is going on in this scene? So, is this something that you've staged? Is it something... Uh, I'm not sure what the reference would have been. Since when are there Lego pandas? I used to have Lego years and years ago. We didn't have any, any of the cool... You know, the really cool stuff I see in Legos nowadays. I feel like I should pick up Lego sets now. Um, cool. Um, yeah, it's a picture... Of Le yeah, it's a It's a composition of Lego pieces, of Lego characters. Um... I'm not sure what you were saying with it, but I mm, I like seeing that people are posing posing objects and toys. They're they're uh, finding objects and then manipulating them. Um, however, I I don't find anything terribly interesting with what's going on here. I feel like this could have made do with more of a background. Um, if this was part of a collection of other toys in the back, I'm not sure what. Um, or, you know, why this guy is lying down on the ground. Is this part of a scene? I feel like this is a reference I should get if, it, if it's a scene from a movie or something. I don't know. Uh, hmm. I don't know. Because he, he kind of looks like Christian Slater from True Romance a little bit, or you know, the, the flowered t-shirt anyways, or the flowered button-up shirt. Um, geez, you got me thinking. Or I'm just crazy and it's not from anything not afraid to bump that ISO up I like that cool what is this huh first of all I like how we're shooting stuff at night now daylight is our friend so going around shooting your house during the day is there's an obvious advantage to it but I like how this is at night I like how you're playing with the outdoor light coming through the window um, what is this here? Oh, it's a bathroom window. I get it. Cool. That's the shower head. Okay, I get you. That's pretty cool. I'd shower in the dark if I had that bathroom. Um, that looks kind of that looks really romantic. Uh, this this shower head. It's a little bit too gone. I did, I had to think to figure out what that was. I did think about you know where we were. Um. I, I actually kind of think, with all these things on the ledge here, just a nice shot just going right across those, so getting right in, cutting out all this dark space here, um, uh, might have uh, might have uh, lended to this uh, to this image a bit more. Um, but I really like how you're playing with you know the idea. It's a it's a night shot, light coming in through the uh, through the window through a textured window in your bathroom, no less. Um, I had to think about it for a while, and so my mind didn't quite form what it was that I was looking at right away but uh, there's a lot of dark space going on here which sometimes can be really cool for an image I think that you could have cut some of that away to get in closer perhaps get rid of the uh, get rid of the the, the shower head entirely uh, and it could have just been these three I think that would have been a really cool composition there there's and there are more things that could be placed on that ledge that uh, would be that uh, would really make that image you know Product shot. Fruit. It's a nice bowl of fruit. Mm-hmm. It is. Um. Hmm. That's all I got for it, though. It's a nice... It is a nice bowl of fruit. It kind of makes me hungry. I want... Wants to, it makes me want to go grab an apple. Perhaps a mango. But... Um, well... First of all, I would have taken the stickers off. Um, or, no, that's not a big deal. It's just very plain. It's simple. So there's nothing wrong with it, necessarily. It's it's you know it's just that it's a picture of a bowl of fruit. Um, and there's not much else going on with it. So it's a fine photograph. It's a fine image, I think. And there's absolutely, like I said, there's nothing wrong with it. But there's also nothing that's really making it pop for me. Um, other than really making me... Hungry to go get some citrus. Cool. All right. Um, wicked. I'll post your photos. Thank you for jumping in, Krista. I'm so glad that you're jumping in this week. I'm really, really looking forward to seeing what else you come up with in the coming weeks. Um, and also what kind of feedback you might also lend to our other photographers in the challenge. 
um, head on over to the Facebook group, Sharp Goat Photography, and click on the gallery of images. I'll have all the images up on Monday with all these videos so that uh, everybody can jump in and offer some feedback for everybody involved. But yeah, thanks once again to, to Krista, and see you next time.